Take the gearbox cover, just put that aside for the moment, and then take the disc from the previous stage that we took off and place that over the shaft as shown, and then the assembly of the brake pad, just open that up slightly and then place that over the disc and then screw that into the two holes so that secures that into position. Don't over tighten it, okay, because obviously the brakes need to work in the in the right manner to stop the car. So screw that into position and we'll come back for the next part of the stage. Once you've done that, insert the brake rod into the hole below the central flange of the brake cam. Okay, now look very closely at the brake cam, see the hole there, take the rod Place that into the hole and then take the little Allen nut and your Allen key and then just slightly tighten that into position like so. Once you've done that, take your collar, making sure that the collar part is at the bottom, place that over the top like so and then take the chassis and then drop that into position making sure that the hook from the collar is facing outward like so Might have to move it around a little bit just to get that to drop into position. So just make sure that that doesn't interfere with the gear itself. Once you've done that, take your gearbox housing and then we're going to be placing that. over the top. Now with the countersunk screws provided start off with the 10 millimeter ones placing those into position and then tighten them down once you've done that Take your 3x12s and screw those into position on this location. On the outside like so. And then take the final 3x10. I'm going to be placing that one at the front of the housing here. Like so. And once you've done that, you turn the chassis over. And we're going to be putting a 3x12mm countersunk into this area here, at the bottom of the engine plate. So hold that into position should screw it into the gearbox housing that we've just put on. So just adjust that. Make 
making sure that that is going in. It's a bit fiddly. And then once again with the remaining screw, which is the eight millimeter, which is gonna go just in this section here. So take that one and then screw that down into position and that completes the stage. Now in stage 62 we're going to be assembling the drive shaft mount. So take your mount and then place your bearings in either side of the mount like so and then the actual drive shaft mount the longest part I'm going to place that through the left hand side with this part facing you so it's going to be going through the back as you can see in the video and then the other shaft is then going to go on the, the other part. Now make sure where you've got the flat have that lined up with a hole so that when we put the allen key nut in there you can do that up and that will hold that into position. Now in stage 63 we're going to be fitting the front and rear drive shaft so take the assembly that we did in the previous stage and just notice the orientation and the way that these shafts are going to be going. The longest shaft is going to be going from behind okay, and the shorter shaft is going to be coming directly from the gearbox. Now what we need to do is first of all is the two screws that you see with the nuts on them is undo the nuts and take the nuts off and allow either the screws to drop through if they're nice and tight just stick up. Now the easiest way that I found of doing this okay and that is by placing the two shafts into each end like so and then placing one in one end we'll just put that one in on that end and then bring in the actual assembly over like so okay now just test fit it so that you're happy with the way that that's going and notice obviously with the way that the cutout and the way that the shaft assembly goes how that sits into that position okay so get your grease and apply some grease to each end of the shaft like so and then place those into position so a piece of grease there small amount of grease on that one and then place your drive shaft inside making sure it locates and then take your other put that into position just let that sit there for a minute apply some more grease to the other two ends of the smaller of the shafts and then once again place that into position like so and the other one into position and then just notice how we move that over placing that so it goes over the screw that's sticking up and then replace the two nuts on top of that section that you can see just here and then tighten those up. 